I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you three very important questions based on prime factorization. Question number one, explain how you can use prime factorization and a Venn diagram to identify the greatest common factor and lowest common multiple of 12, 18 and 30. Question number two, prime factorization of a number n is given below. How many factors will this number have? List all the factors to verify your answer. Uh, I've written p here, this number n I've mentioned there, so let me write n here. So the prime factorization of number n is 2 square times 3 times 5 square, that means 2 fives. Question number 3. Prime factorization of two numbers, P and Q, have missing prime factors as shown below. Find P and Q if their greatest common factor is 7 and LCM is 210. I would like you to pause the video, answer all these questions and then look into my suggestions. Question 1. Explain how you can use prime factorization and a Venn diagram to identify the greatest common factor and LCM of 12, 18 and 30. So let's begin with prime factorization of 12. So 12 is 4 times 3 and 4 could be written as 2 times 2. Now let's do for 18. 18 is 9 times 2 and 9 is 3 times 3. For the number 30, we can write this as 3 times 10 and 10 is 2 times 5. So that is the prime factorization of the three numbers. Let me summarize here. 12 could be written as 2 times 2 times 3, 18 can be written as 2 times 3 times 3 and 30 can be written as 2 times 3 times 5. Now we need to make Venn diagram for factors of these three numbers. So uh, let me make three circles. So let's have one circle, another circle here, and uh, let's say this is the third circle. Now whatever is common between all three will come here. So let's write down, let us say the one circle, this one, is for 12. This circle is for number 18. And the last one is for number 30. So we see that one of the two is common to all. And the region which is common to all is right there. So we can place 1, 2 here. So we have taken care of all the three twos mentioned here, right? So we have taken care of these three twos. Now, we also have three threes common, correct? Okay. So these th threes are common. So we can also place that here. So 2 and 3 are common to 12, 18 and 30. The number in between which we have just got is the greatest common factor. So we can write down that greatest common factor is the factors which are common to all 3 which is 2 times 3. So we get that as 6. So that is one of our answers, correct? So I hope you understood the whole process. So we got the greatest common factor as 6 and that is prime factors common to 
all three of them. Now let's fill up with the other numbers. As far as 12 is concerned, 1, 2 is left, so I'll put it here. As far as 18 is concerned, 1, 3 is left. And 5, the factor of 30, remains. To find the lowest common multiple, we need to multiply all these, right? So what we have here is 2 times 3. We can say 2 times this number here is 6, what we took common, times 3 times 5. So that becomes the least common multiple, right? 6 is common to all and the ones which were not common to all. Is that okay? So when you multiply, you get your lowest common multiple, which in this case is 6 times 3 is 18, 5 times 2 is 10. So it is 180. So LCM is 180. Now I hope the process is clear. To find greatest common factor and LCM using prime factorization and Venn diagram, that is how we do it. Is that clear? Right? So, in the Venn diagram, the factors which are common to all three will give you the greatest common factor. And if you multiply all the factors in the Venn diagram, you get least common multiple. Correct? Now, let's move on and answer question number two. Question number two. Prime factorization of a number n is given below. How many factors will this number have? List all factors to verify your answers. So it has two parts. One, we have to estimate the number of factors, right? So how do we estimate? Now here is a very interesting method. We have the factors of NS. There are two tools. You could think like this. The factors are 2 times 2, then we have 3, and then we have 5, and then we have 2 5s, right? Now, when you estimate, the method is something like this. How many 2s can you have? You can have 2 2s, 1 2, or none of them. So, there are 3 options. So, with 2s, we have 3 options. With the factor 2's, right? With 3's, how many options? You could select 3 or you may not select. So we have two options with selecting 3's. There's only one 3. How about 5? Since there are two 5's, you may select one 5, you may select two 5's, or you may not select. So we again have three options. With Fives. All together, total number of options are, let me write down, options here means factors. We are not talking about prime factors, all the factors, correct, are 3 times 2 times 3, which is 9 times uh, I mean, 9 times 2, 18, 3 times 2, 6, 6 times 3, 18. So we expect 18 factors, correct? So our answer is 18. Now, we've done the first part. Now let's list all these factors. So I'd like you to pause the video and list the factors, right? To list, let's go in a uniform method. First factor should always be 1, correct? You begin with 1. 1 is factor for all the numbers. Then you could take these numbers individually. That is to say you could take 2, you could take 3 and 5, correct? Now let's take them as combinations. So with 2, you can take another 2, which is 4. And uh, now with 1, 2, you could take 3. So 2 times 3 will be 6. With 4 also you can take 3. So 4 times 3 will be 12. 
Now with 2, you could take 5. So 2 times 5 will be 10. Then with 4, you can take 5, which makes it 20. Correct? Now with 5, you could take 5 itself, which makes it 25. Correct? Now let's go further. This time, let's take with 3. 3 times 5 is 15. And 3 times 25 will be 15 times 5. That is 75. Correct? Okay. So likewise, we'll just add on to our factors. Now let's go with 5 and 4, 20, which we have taken. But with 25, let's do 25 times 2, which is 50. And 25 times 4, which is 100. So we have taken with those 2's. Now if we combine all 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 5 is 30. And 6 times 25, that means 30 times 5 will be 150. We can take 4, 4 times 3, 12, and 12 times 5 is 60. And times 5, because there are two 5s, and two 4s. So we get times 5 gives 300, correct? So that is how we can build our list. How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now these are all the factors, correct? These are all the factors. But I hope you appreciate how we found the total number of factors 18 very easily. Let's get back to that process. Since there were two tools, we had three options. Either you select a two or you do not select a two or you select all two of them. So three options. So that is what I mean. With 3, you may select or you may not select. We have two options only. And with 5, we have again three options. You may select 1 5, you may select 2 5s, or you may not select them. And product of these gives us all the combinations, which is 18. Correct? So that is how you're going to answer. And here is an added question for you. How many... of the above factors are not even. So that's a question for you. You can answer this and then write in comments. Now let's move on and do question number three. Question number three. Prime factorization of two numbers, P and Q, have missing prime factors as shown. So P and Q have some missing prime factors. Find P and Q if their greatest common factor is 7 and LCM is 21. Okay. So if we know that greatest common factor is 7 and 7 is not given a factor, that should be a factor. Correct? So that means 7 is factor of both. Does it make sense to you? Correct? So that makes sense. Now, how do we get the other missing number? We should get it from LCM, right? LCM is 210. LCM is 210. Now, how do we get 210? If I take P, then the number P is what? Let's now understand what is P. P is 2 times 3 times 7, correct? So I should write this as 7 times 3 is 21 and twice is 42. So 42 is P. But LCM is 210. Now how do we get 210 from 42? That is the key. So what we can do here is that we can divide... 210 by 42, right? 
So let's divide 210 by 42. I mean, 42. So 4 times 5 is 20, so that should go. So 5 times 2 is 10 and 21. So 5 is the key. That means this missing number is 5 for us. Do you get it? Only after place, after we place 5 here, you notice that 2 times 3 times 7 times 5 is how much? That is 210. So that is how we get our missing number. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. You could also use Venn diagram in this particular case to find the result. Here is a hint for you using Venn diagram, right? So let's say these are the two circles representing prime factors of P and Q. So we are given that 7 is common. So 7 comes inside which is common. This is 7. 2 and 3 for P. So let me write 2 and 3. We got 7 which is common. What should be here? When you multiply 2, 3, 7 and that number, 2, 3, 7 and this missing number, you should get 210. Right? So we did the same. 210 divided by all this gives us that missing number. So that is another approach for getting this answer. But I hope you have understood the concept. These three are very critical thinking questions based on prime factorization where the application is to find lowest common multiple and greatest common factor. I hope you have understood how to solve them. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you have any doubts, don't hesitate. Thanks for watching and all the best.